All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review for a new series on FX. A few different uh, viewers, people asked me to go ahead and review this one. This will be for the premiere, which is episodes one and two of the new FX series, which is called The Bastard Executioner. Yeah, so quite a few people asked me to go ahead and check out this new show. This one is from Kurt Sutter, who was the creator of Sons of Anarchy. Went uh, seven seasons, huge show. A lot of people even asked me to kind of review that show. Um, never really got around to it because by the time I would have started, it would have been like season six or seven. It would have been just at the end. And I was like, ah, you know, it's it's pretty hard to catch up on six seasons of a show, uh, you know, in time to do reviews for, for the final season. So regret that I never got a chance, but uh, I did at least check out a couple episodes of Sons of Anarchy and it was, it was a great show and I can see why so many people loved it so much. So... Be interested to see what happens with this one. Uh, the Bachelor Executioner did have a double premiere, two episodes, and uh, it's on FX, and it's shot in really, really good quality. It's, it's a really good-looking show. Um, be interested to see if it lasts, you know, uh, at least a few seasons. I, I hope it does. It, it has at least one season coming, um, ten episodes from the looks of it, and uh, we'll see what happens with that afterwards because uh, it is pretty good. So here's my review to give my thoughts on it. Let's uh, let's start with the um, the uh, synopsis or or the plot. So Bachelor Executioner. Executioner tells the story of a warrior knight in King Edward III's charge who is broken by the ravages of war and vows to lay down his sword. Uh, but when that violence finds him again, he is forced to pick up the bloodiest sword of all. Um, so the stars, Lee Jones plays uh, Wilkin Brattle, our, our lead character, and the rest of the characters so far, I haven't really gotten that into. Uh, and that's one thing about this show I will say right off the bat, if I have one kind of takeaway from it, it's that I didn't find the characters to be that engaging. Um, even our first villain, right off the bat, I won't get into any spoilers, he's, he's, he was okay, I guess, he, he is okay. Um, but uh, yeah, he wasn't. Uh, he didn't. Wa he wasn't fantastic for me or anything. Also, I found some of the dialogue difficult to follow. I don't know if it's just my ears because of uh, you know the accents, kind of old English, uh, uh, medieval type of uh, speech, and sometimes I have trouble with that uh, following it just because I'm used to you know uh, uh, American or Canadian accents. Um, yeah. So okay. So that's kind of the storyline. To sum it up, I won't give away too much about the plot in terms of spoilers and that. But basically, here's what happens. You have your your, your our main character uh, uh, Wilkin, who um, he he's he's a strong uh, fighter, and basically he survives a battle, but barely. Afterwards, uh, during after after the war, he basically decides to put down his sword um, and become like a farmer in in a shire. Uh, he was a knight prior, and what he basically does is kind of become a family man at that point and say he's done with fighting, he doesn't want to fight anymore, that's it, he's basically had enough. Now, of course, things are not going well there. Uh, they may not have enough food to survive through through the next winter, and what they decide to do is they decide, uh, the people of this, this small shire, decide to go and rob another one or rob some of the, uh, the king's men in order to have enough to, and kill them, basically annihilate them and take what they have. So that's what they do and what ends up happening in the repercussions of that before they can even get back to their own, uh, you know, Shire, the, um, the people in that area, the, the King's uh, men in that area and, and the Baroness, they, they send out, um, you know, a group and they slaughter everybody there. So by the time these, uh, you know, people, the Shire, including our main character, Will can get back, their families and everybody are, are, you know, are dead, you know. So in the spirit of vengeance, they, um, you know, want to get back. So they, they find the group that was sent to do it, including the, um, uh, the, uh, the people that are in charge of the king's side there. And they, they basically attack them, and, and there's a huge, amazing battle, and they kill them all. And then afterwards, what happens is our main character decides, uh, because of a, a fortune teller, so to speak, or a witch, I guess you could say, um, he believes the things that she says, and he decides to kind of uh, go take one of the positions of one of the men that he has killed, and uh, that he looks very similar to, and kind of go back to um, the, uh, the castle or, or that side with uh, pretending to be an executioner, pretending to be their executioner. So uh, with a little bit of luck, they believe him, and he uh, begins at the very end of the episode, begins his uh, new job, so to speak, as pretending to be this man that's, uh, that's been killed, the, uh, the executioner. Uh, of anything, pretty crazy uh, profession to, uh, <laughs> to pretend to be in. So, of course, with that, it's a dark show. 
you know, uh, he is an executioner at this point, and um, you know, you do have some pretty amazing medieval type battles here. You got some awesome sword fights and axes, and people just getting maimed and killed and heads cut off, and and just just some incredible action. Uh, pretty dark, you know, kind of gory at some parts, and. Definitely exciting. The, like I said, the only thing I take away is that the characters are not that engaging. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's the start of a new show, so I'm sure over time we can kind of get used to them. We'll get more and more into the characters and kind of their motivations, how they're feeling and what's going on with them as we, uh, as we go on through. So, um, yeah, so I didn't enjoy the premiere quite a bit. Um, the action sequences are amazing. Um, if I had to compare it to something else, it's probably most similar to uh, Vikings. If you guys have seen that, if any of you have seen Vikings, uh, it's just really, um, really kind of showing the battle, which is something that's really cool and I always wanted to see with uh, Game of Thrones, that they show some battles a little bit, uh, and they've shown some spectacle with regards to the battles now. Earlier on in the series, I felt like they could have shown a lot more, and they didn't show that many. Um, with this show, you get to see it like all the way through. You get to see the sword fights all the way through. You get to see people dying. You see numbers kind of going down. You'll have one group and another. And, you know, as they kind of come in together, big battles play out. And it's really cool to kind of see that uh, in that uh, kind of quality. So um, I did enjoy the premiere. I did enjoy the first two episodes. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next uh, and whether or not uh, our main character is ever going to find out who uh, exactly were, was, or were the ones who killed his, uh, his wife. Uh, and unborn um, baby. So dark show, for sure, definitely a dark show. Uh, if I had to give it a score, I'd give it an 8 out of 10, but it's not for um, anybody who's uh, you know not into that kind of stuff. If you're not into the action, if you're not into seeing sore fights, if you're not into kind of that darker side of things, um, it may mess you up a bit. You may want to turn it, you may turn it off, that kind of thing, because it is pretty dark. So uh, for me, I did enjoy it quite a bit. It's kind of like how, you know, with The Walking Dead, when we don't have that, we have Fear of the Walking Dead now, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you don't have Game of Thrones and you, and you have a little bit of an itch to see some sword fighting and see that kind of that kind of style, uh, there are some similarities between it. There's even a little fantasy that seems to be mixed in there too, which is cool with this show. So uh, I'm interested to see what it becomes. The only, th- the only other thing, aside from the characters, I didn't like too much is I don't really like the music that much it's kind of drab it's kind of dry it's a little bit uh, uh, light and I think maybe they should have gone with something a little bit more uh, uh, darker to fit the theme of the show maybe some heavy metal or something but uh, that said uh, if I had to score it 8 out of 10 good show uh, interested to see what happens with it over the uh, the seasons and, and how many people end up checking it out of course on FX you know how that network goes where uh, FX I don't know man people people just don't watch FX the strain though I've noticed that people are starting People are starting to check the strain out more and more, which is cool. But uh, if any of you guys got a chance to see The Bastard Executioner, write your comments below on what you thought of it. There's kind of my breakdown. I'm not an expert when it comes to kind of, you know, the medieval, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> War King, King Edward, that t- type of time period in that. And uh, But, you know, there, there's my review for it in terms of what I thought. Uh, I did enjoy it quite a bit. And, um, yeah, I'm, I will definitely check out at least the third episode and see kind of how the normal pacing of the show goes. Um it's definitely, a, it's definitely a cool show if you like to see action, that's for sure, and kind of dark battles and gore and that kind of stuff. Because they show you basically everything, uh, which is crazy, especially at the end uh, when he ends up having to do his new job that he's pretending to, to be this other guy. He has to, if he's going to be an executioner, he has to, well, uh, <laughs> execute people. So, uh, wow, yeah, pretty dark, but but good, but well done. Anyway, I'll say well done. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Some people might not like it. Okay, if you guys like this video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share, please favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you can go and subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for my review for this new series. Uh, if you guys uh, liked it, let me know what you thought below. And uh, I may see you again for another Bastard Execution review, but I'm not committing to doing it every week. As always, it's Trev. Same piece. Even though this show is not weekly anyway, so I guess it's not that bad. Peace. <laughs>